Hi, my name is Aloy Ochoa from the San Antonio Orthopedic Group. And what we hope to do today is show you some instructions and demonstrate how to do some of these passive and active shoulder exercises that you'll be doing after surgery. Hopefully this will complement the handwritten instructions that you guys will be getting after surgery. So, so here we have the uh, physical therapy shoulder kit. Uh, most of you guys will be, uh, guys and girls, will be receiving this. Um, there are six items in the kit. Two of these are for passive exercises that you'll be doing early on in your therapy, and these other four are for strengthening exercises that we usually won't introduce until about three months into your rehab. This top item is the overhead rope and pulley, and it's to help you do passive forward flexion exercises. And this is a stick that you will use for passive external rotation exercises that Brandon will show you how to use here shortly. These are the resistance bands. Uh, from left to right, they go from the least resistance to the most resistance. This blue band here I want you to be careful with. I don't want you to use this ever for any of your passive external or internal rotation exercises. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to demonstrate is passive external rotation of the shoulder. Um, our model here is Brandon Del Bosque, he's my PA, and uh, he's going to show you how to do this. So the first thing I want to tell you is this is in your shoulder therapy kit for those of you who are using this. Uh, it comes in three pieces. What I want you to realize is I don't want you to use all three pieces. So this middle piece you can disregard and I want you to use attach the handle, which is the part with the T, to the end, and that's the part that has the plastic end. So, we're going to pretend for this model, for this uh, example, that he, we operated on his left shoulder. So the non-operative shoulder is the right shoulder. He's going to grab the T-handle with that. And this is the shoulder, the right shoulder, that's going to do all the exercise. We don't want you to use your muscles on the left shoulder to move this shoulder. That's why they're called passive exercises. So you'll notice he's lying straight, flat on his back, so he can't cheat by moving his upper extremity. And I want the elbow to be by your side. and. It's easier if you put them on some pillows or, or a towel so that this elbow doesn't fly out away from your body when you're doing these exercises. So I want you, he's going to demonstrate what a passive external rotation looks like. You're going to use the right arm to push this left arm outwards, okay? And go ahead and pull back. And grab onto that stick so that you can pull it back to, to neutral. Right here is zero degrees. It's sticking straight up. If I wanted you to go passively out to 90 degrees, see if you can show them that, Brandon. So now you're flat almost to the ground, that's about 80 to 85 degrees. Now go back to neutral, and now I want you to show me 20 degrees. So go passive external rotation 20. So now this is about 20 degrees. Usually we'll ask you to do somewhere between 20 and 30, show 30, right about there. Now go back. Now remember, don't use these muscles in your left shoulder to move your shoulder, use the right hand. Okay, the next exercise Brandon is going to show you is also a passive exercise, and it's a, a passive forward flexion exercise, we call it a rope and pulley exercise, and he's showing you this, this is in your therapy kit, otherwise you can get it separately from the physical therapy department. It's a little pulley and it has a little attachment at the end that's meant to get stuck over the uh, door, he's going to show you how to get it attached to the top of the door. This is a pretty tall door, so it's somewhat a little more challenging, but just the only trick is making sure you get the pulley to come on the outside of the door. There you go. So when you first start these exercises, I want you to face the door and face the pulley. This is a little bit easier. You can, in this case, we're going to assume that we operated on his left shoulder, so he's going to grab it with his left, keep the shoulder uh, muscles relaxed, and he's going to use his right arm to pull that shoulder up. And we'll instruct you on how far we want you to go. Usually it's going to be about somewhere between 100 degrees and 130 degrees when you first start out. Now once you get better and it's further along rehab, we're going to have you turn your back to the door. So show them that, Brandon. And now, as you, you'll see here, as he pulls that right arm down, that left arm, that left shoulder is going to go much further over his body up to almost 180 degrees there. And remember, don't pull down or use the muscles in your left shoulder. Everything is being done with his right shoulder and right arm.
Okay, Brandon's going to show you another passive forward flexion exercise. You can use this instead of the overhead rope and pulley exercises, and you'll usually do this pretty early on in your uh, rehab. Uh, once again, it's a passive exercise, so you're letting the table do all the exercise. I don't want you using the shoulder muscles to lift your arm. So this is forward flexion to about 100 degrees. And notice he's using a paper towel. You can also use a magazine to allow your hand to slide on the table. Now he's going to show you how to do this exercise up to 180 degrees, so his arm is going to go almost all the way up by his ear. We'll usually give you a number somewhere between 100 and 130 degrees, so show us 130 degrees. And go a little bit more, that's about right. Okay. Okay, so the next exercise that we're going to be doing or demonstrating is what we call a sleeper stretch. And the reason we call it that is pretty obvious. He's, you're, you're, in a, you're lying down on your left side. We're going to say for, for this example that we operated on the left shoulder and we're trying to stretch out the posterior capsule of this left shoulder and we're going to do some internal rotation passive stretches. So once again, it's a passive stretch. You won't be using the muscles in your operative site to move your shoulder, you'll be using the other hand or the right hand. So I want you to lay directly on your side. I want you to bring that elbow to about 45 degrees away from your body when you first start these exercises. When you get much better at them, then you can move them out to 90 degrees. This will be much more difficult. So I want you to start off at 45 degrees. So there's the 45 degree angle. I want you to put your right hand on the back of your operative or left wrist. And I want you to use this right arm to rotate that arm down to the bed. Now when you're really good, you should be able to get that almost close to the bed. Come on back up, so I want you to bring it out when it gets that easy, and you can do that again. Show them what it looks like to internally rotate down to the bed, and that's it, that's a sleeper stretch. Come on back to me. straight up and down. Okie doke. Okay, so this next exercise is also going to be a passive uh, stretch, but it's going to be an exercise that you probably won't get until later on in your rehab um, timeline. Uh, Brandon's going to demonstrate it. Uh, it's easy to do up against the door jam. We're going to assume that we operated on his left shoulder, and he's going to put his left forearm right up against the frame of the door and turn his upper body to the opposite wall across the room. And so what that's doing is it's externally rotating his shoulder and it's bringing his elbow out to the same plane as his body. And demonstrate a couple more times, Brandon. This is what we call the pitcher stretch. Okay. Okay, the next exercise we call active elbow, wrist, and hand. And once again, this means you move the elbow and the wrist on your own. And this is going to be an exercise that you're going to get fairly early in your rehab process. And it helps keep the swelling out of your forearm and your hand, especially if you have to wear a sling. So Brandon's going to show you active elbow, wrist, and hand. That's the active hand, active wrist, and active elbow. Once again, you want to do about 10 to 15 repetitions of this and about three sets about three times a day. Okay, so the next thing we want to show you are the what we call four pack strengthening exercises. And it's four different exercises. These are all active exercises, meaning you're going to use your muscles to move your own shoulder and, and uh, elbow. So Brandon's going to show you how to set up these resistance bands that we showed you earlier. The one he's uh, using is the yellow one, which is the one that has the least resistance. And I want you to start off with these, and as you feel comfortable, you can increase the resistance. Generally, I want you to do about 10 repetitions of each of these exercises in about three sets, and try to do them about three times a day. So he's going to show you external rotation first. Notice he's keeping his elbow by his side, and the forearm comes straight out in front of him when he's done with the exercise. So it goes against your belly and it's straight out in front of you. Okay, go ahead and show us 
internal rotation. So to do internal, you just turn around. And you're going to start off with the forearm straight in front of you and bring it to your belly to complete the exercise. So this one completes itself when it's up against your belly, and the other one completes itself. The external rotation completes itself when, it's, when your forearm is straight out in front of you. Okay, next he's going to show you the lat pull down. This is for the upper, for the portion of your back muscle that does help control your shoulder blade. So what he's doing is he's pulling straight down. And just for, just so that you guys can see it a little bit better, why don't you show them with your right arm so they can see it from a different angle. He's keeping his arm straight and bringing it straight down to his thigh. Okay, and show us the last exercise, the fourth one, which is the biceps exercise. So this is the only one that you'll take off the door handle and go ahead and uh, step on the resistance band. And then keep your elbow by your side and it's basically a biceps exercise. In general, like I mentioned earlier, I don't want you ever to get up to the blue resistance band, which is the most uh, difficult one for the shoulder exercises, but it might be okay to do it for this exercise.